everyone and welcome back to the channel and if you're new here welcome to our channel today we will be discussing the dog's eye and we have been doing quite a few anatomy type videos lately tomorrow don't worry we'll be doing a dog vlog type of video that way just to change it up give a bit of a break to the anatomy stuff just in case that stuff isn't really interesting you and in case you are missing some just updates on the dog just the dogs playing or just me discussing things going on around the house that we plan to do that are coming up things of that nature but anyway back to what this video is about and we will like i said be discussing the dog's eye so the eye is responsible for collecting light from the environment and converting it into and converting this into an image in a three-dimensional moving image now the eye is made up of the cornea the iris the ciliary bed vitreous body retina lens anterior chamber optic disc and the optic nerve I'm now going to tell you some common eye conditions that happen with dogs and what each condition means and what it entails. So if a vet ever mentions your dog has one of these conditions, you kind of get a rough idea of what that condition is. First, we're gonna talk about conjunctivitis. That is actually the inflammation of the pink tissue inside the eyelid. Another common eye condition is uveitis. That is actually the inflammation of the middle layer of the eyeball, represented by eye redness, pain and poor vision. Another eye condition is a corneal ulcer. It's a painful hole in the cornea, which is the clear membrane on the front of the eye. Keratitis is another eye condition that's common and that is the inflammation of the cornea. Another common one that you actually might hear a lot of is glaucoma and this is increased pressure within the eyeball and that can lead to sudden blindness. So this is indeed something you want to make sure you go to a vet about right away, especially if you have any type of sudden indication that this possibly could be occurring. Next is lens luxation, which is the movement of the eye lens out of its normal position. Next we have cherry eye, which is permanent exposure of the third eyelid. Another very common eye condition is dry eye, which is chronic lack of sufficient eye lubrication that results in irritation of the eye. Retinal detachment is when the eye retina comes away from the back wall of the eye. This is also an emergency vet situation that you really need to go right away to a vet to take care of. Entropion is when the rolling of the eyelids where the eyelashes constantly rub on the cornea causes irritation and ulceration. Another common eye condition is dystichia, which is when your eyelashes grow from an unusual spot and it causes irritation and ulceration. And last but not least, another very common eye condition is retinal dysplasia, which is abnormal retinal development that can lead to retinal detachment, which as we mentioned earlier, if that occurs, that is a vet emergency.
now that we've discussed and went over some common eye conditions, I'm just going to go over some common eye tests that we'll use if your dog ever ends up getting any of these eye conditions. And a lot of dogs might not ever get an eye condition and some are more prone to it. For example, not all, but some bulldogs are quite prone to cherry eye. It's just a common thing in that breed of dog. And like I said, it's not something that every bulldog will get. It's just a more common thing. Just like retinal dysplasia can be quite common in Labrador retrievers. Not saying every Labrador retriever will end up with this type of eye condition. It's just something that is a bit more prone in that breed. But again, it's not every retriever. The first test we're gonna talk about that a vet might end up doing is the Shermer tear test. And that is used to measure the tear production. The normal tear production is 10 to 15 millimeters in one minute. Another very, very common eye test that a vet might perform is a simple swab. And this is just to get a sample collection to investigate foreign cells, bacteria, or viruses. Another common eye test that your vet might perform on your dog if they have an eye condition is a fluorescein staining. And this is to check for ulcers that will absorb the stain. It can also be used to check the functioning of the tear duct where the stain will appear from the nostrils within 5 to 15 minutes if healthy. Your vet can also perform a tonometry which tests the pressure within the eye or a goitoscopy which tests the drainage angle of the eye. Your vet can also perform different imaging techniques. They can use radiographs, ultrasounds, MRIs to investigate diseases of the eye or the surrounding tissue. And finally, another common eye test is a DNA swab. And this is the collection of cheek cells or blood to investigate genetic disorders by checking specific genetic markers. today's video we hope you have a wonderful day great week and stay tuned again for another video that will be coming your way tomorrow we will like i said at the beginning of the video be taking a break from the anatomy and just doing more of a chill relaxed type of dog vlog home vlog situation 
Anyway, again, have a great day. See you all real soon. And bye now.